And I'm just kind of adjusting that shape a little bit more. And I might kind of bring just a little bit of that color down into the fabric. Which will help kind of place the object if it has just a little bit of bounced light off of it. Don't want to overdo it, but I think it adds some interest. And I'm coming back with fresh eyes now. And it looks, I'm pretty happy with the value structure, placement of things. So real quick, I'm going to put a value down for that highlight to make sure I'm in the right ballpark. And it has just a little bit of a yellow, orangish tint to it. So maybe I'll use a little yellow ochre or a little cadmium lemon to that. I want to keep it almost pure white, but not, not pure white, just a little bit step down from that. And I'm not going to finish painting right now. I just want to put a spot down to make sure it'll read correctly. And that, yeah, definitely. It's amazing what that little spot of light does to that metal. And it really puts all the other values in context now that I have it complete. And the, the highlight when I finish putting in will be a little larger and there's going to be a couple spots where it kind of moves around and it's going to be fun to put that in with thicker paint. <clears throat> but let's see real quick, I'm just going to make sure I get this spot up here and over here. But I think overall those are correct. I, I still have to get that leaf, that the values from that leaf in or those leaves that are creating that dark shadow. And then I'll start, I'm going to get the shadow shapes in for these roses. And then really start developing that thicker paint. Mixing up nice batches of color and applying it and leaving it and not fiddling too much, trying to be very direct with it. Now that I have my block in complete, semi-complete and the placement of everything correct and where I want it. I'll probably just be sticking to some filberts and flats at this stage. And these are some nice soft natural brushes which lets me really get thick paint and develop that nice painterly texture I'm going for. So now I'm gonna get those shadow shapes in, like I said, and they're gonna be on the warm side. So I'm using yellow ochre, transparent oxide red. I'm gonna mix in some of that king's blue so it's not too, too warm because sometimes I tend to go too warm with things, too red. So it's good to be aware of shortcomings like that where you might have issues and really work on it and pay attention to that. It's going to be a little bit darker. So I'm going to mix a little more transparent oxide red and ultramarine blue into that. It's a little bit too red and it might shift towards more of a purpley color, so I'll introduce a little lizard into that mixture. A little bit more of that king's blue. That looks about right.
I'm really trying to keep these shapes nice and simple. So I'm squinting down and trying to figure out how I can simplify these shapes into their simplest form. And that will connect down into here. And there might be a little bit of green gold in there. And then there's going to be a softer, more gradual transition as it turns into the light. So I'm going to soften these edges. And as it gets to the core, it's going to become more of a red and purple, more of an intense chroma. Because that core of the rose usually has the most color in there, the most vibrant color. And I'll kind of work my way outwards, starting at the center, with that deeper value. And it's going to kind of an orangish, orangish yellow. That's a tricky one to mix because it's fairly pale. So I might use a little bit of a lizard in there too. That's pretty close. Might be a little too dark in value, so I'll bring it up just a little more. Really just working the two into one another, creating that nice soft gradual transition that the center of the rose has. And then it's going to get a little bit deeper in value where it's casting shadows from the petals over here. And that kind of continues into the core. And then the shape of the shadow comes up over here. And connects down into that, maybe a little bit further over, about there. And there's a little bit of a greenish hue over here. So I'm going to go make sure I'm light enough in value, but it pushes towards the green yellow family over here. And it gets a little bit darker in value. Oops. 
I'm noticing I'm actually a little bit too far down with this. So I will adjust that real quick. Okay. 